here with another episode of Minecraft Pixelmon. Now this ain't any sort of series, this is just a tutorial. Now we're not on Poker Resort as you can see, this is just a flat world and I want to show you how to make Ultra Balls. Now it's the same similar way to make any other ball but Ultra Balls are more, have more value. And on Poker Resort you can sell them for $2,500. So. Uh, let me uh, show you how it's done. So, we open this chest, we got yellow apricorns, and we got black apricorns. Now, if we, so we, what we could do is plant them. So, there you go. You can also use bone meal, if I have a look uh, here, bone meal. It's this one, I have a different texture pack, so we can do that and it will grow a yellow apricorn. Same with this one, black apricorn. And you harvest these by right clicking and it regrows automatically. So that's a unlimited way of getting apricorns. Also, just let me know, if you do F3 plus G, it shows you the chunks, chunk borders. Now, on Poké Resort, you can only have 32 per chunk. So 32, if I go over here, that's 16 here, and another 16. So you can only took uh, two rows per chunk. And there's 300, oh, there's 320 uh, apricorns you can place on Poker Resort. Uh, also you can, if you get skills and everything, you're able to get more on the limit. You get more uh, apricorns to place, I believe. So, once you've got your apricorns here, you would need to put them in the furnace. So, let me put this back. So, we've got one black, black apricorn here. We cook them, and we got two, we got another yellow one. So, let that all smell. So, once, so for, then you need to go get iron ingot, which obviously you'd smell iron ore for this to happen. So let me, and you, it will make iron discs. So how to make it is in the crafting table three there, and this will get three on the bottom, and this will give you five. If you have three stacks here, put it at the bottom. This will give you five stacks of iron discs. Now, then you need to start hammering it. You can either use a Pixelmon anvil, but the best way is for a mechanical anvil. So if you put this iron disc in here, as you can see, it's not smelting, it's hammering it. So you can watch that happen and you can see the animation, it's quite a cool animation. And you receive an iron base. So it's slow, however it's it's good. It makes a loud noise as well. So once you get your cooked apricorns, as you can see you get EXP from it. Uh, so yeah, you get your iron base and your iron disc and everything. To make the ultra ball disc, you need, so I've got all the cooked apricorns here. Let me put that in my inventory, in my hotbar. You need, you, you could do it like up here, oh wait, you could do it up here, or you could do it anywhere, it's just at least three here. So three there. Uh, and that will give you an ultra ball disc. Well, it's a disc, yeah, it's an ultra ball disc. And the same way with the iron disc, you just put it in the uh, mechanical anvil, and away you go. Now, you're probably wondering why I've got two spaces here. One space is for an automated smelter, an automated mechanical anvil. Now, these are very, very useful and it's quite it's quite tricky to um, to be able to build and it's quite expensive however it's very useful so as you can see let pause the video and have a look at the resources you need so this isn't the specific amount you need it's just I've spawned it in because why not uh, it's I don't really wanna so um, get the furnace hoppers chest and that's it so first of all, you could do it any size, I'm just showing you. So if I do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 5 by 15. So it's build that. Um, let's go there. Alright, so 5 by 15, and first, of, then you'd need here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can add, oh, you can add another two more, okay, that's cool, and that should be, should be good. Yeah, just should be alright. Yeah, this is this is the exact amount I need. So once you do that, you leave the middle. You don't have a middle. The reason is is because the middle or the middle furnace doesn't smell, and I have no idea why. But it's just it's it is what it is. And it's a pain in the ass. However, I can't you can't do much about it. So then you place it. So you place stone blocks up here exactly like that so pause the video and have a look see if it's exactly like that uh, one two three four five six one two three four five right I did that wrong oh dear let's remove that all right so that should be five by five and you obviously you leave, leave the uh, middle like that so on the back, this is good, this is the most trick. This is the tricky bit. So on the back, you'd have hoppers going in here, and this hopper would. I, would, I suggest putting this hopper like that, so it's facing there. Uh, uh, you have to shift and right-click the hoppers, so the little tiny bit at the bottom is facing into the furnace. Then I believe we could we could actually, and then. I believe you could do the same here, just have it facing downwards. And the same shift like that, and then face downwards. Exactly like that. Now, this is going to be the tricky bit, and the reason I say it's the tricky bit is because you're going to need a lot, you're going to need redstone for this. So, if I put redstone here, and a repeater there. A, I need a comparator. Did I even put a comparator here? Yes, I did. So I, th I believe it would be yeah, right around exactly like this. You don't need to turn it on or whatnot. You just leave it like that. You don't need to right click it. Then you get a redstone torch and yeah, you have to put it on this sort of side, but first, we need to get the second row. So, then we need to get the furnace, uh, the hoppers like here. This all needs to face going this, oh, this needs to face going this way. So it's facing the comparator itself. Uh, we can have it there. and we can place the comparator back. So that little bit has to face that stone block and then we can have it going there, I believe. Right, there you go. That should work. Now we can just do a test. If that doesn't work, that's fine. I can, it should work. So this should be where you put the apricorns at. Now to do the other um, hopper, it's the same. I need to get rid of this. Why are you there? Can I let's fight you? Um, this is oh, this is gonna take this will take ages. Uh, I only need to just uh, move him away. Oh, bloody thing. Um, so do the same here. Oh. So you do the same exact same thing here. Uh, 
Oh, facing that way. Also, you'd need the redstone. You need a redstone going here as well. So go. Oh, so we place the stone blocks here. You can remove this stone block. Put the redstone here. Now you don't have to worry about powering the redstone itself because it, it doesn't really matter just as long as it's all powered you don't need to put a redstone underneath so put the redstone repeater like that comparator facing that way and that should be that should be good uh, I believe Can't be that way. How do I actually have to do this? Would it be? I'm thinking you have to put it under here. That will work. Yes. There you go. Is it working? Oh my god. This isn't great. How would this work then? Unless you'd have to, um, actually put the redstone on this side hey I think you'd have to do it that side and then put it that side yeah yeah you do okay so copy it from that and then you're able to put a chest on top of here so that's where the coal goes so let me show you coal and we could put the uh, you could put uh, iron. You could put anything that smelts in the furnace, like iron ingots. So where is it? Where did I put the iron ingots? In here? No. Where is the? Ah, uh, is it here? I need I need to get iron ingots. So it's good. Yes. I uh, know. I think it's the discs. Well, get the apricorns actually. Get the apricorns. Which should be in here. Yeah, it's the same with iron ore. You just put the iron ore in there, and it work. It should work like a charm. So this bit will be where the coal goes. So it should really. I'm not sure why it's not Is it going through. Why isn't that going through? strange it did work it worked for me and I test I did test this before the video and it 100% worked for me so I have no idea why it's not working now it should be working unless I have to put the what am I doing wrong so okay so it's going through there as you can see so it goes through all the way over into here and that should end up, as you can see, the redstone is doing its thing and it should put it, yeah, as you can see, it puts it in the furnace. It will ignore that middle bit, but that should be okay. Now, I don't know why. Oh, there we go. It's because that block is in the way. That's why. I see. Okay. So the coal will be going through here and it will go into the furnace so the coal would have to go behind the furnace and the apricorns would have to go on top so it's going down and then the coal going in and it automatically smelts and you can also I won't do it for this episode but you can also put hoppers underneath so put a chest under there we can remove this remove that Uh, right, so we can have it going there. There, 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 and there. See, it's not that expensive. I thought it was, but it isn't. So once that's all cooked, it'll be all placed. And look how quick it's going. This is so efficient. 
it's, it's so quick and it doesn't and it, it automatically uh, organizes the coal so say I'll put like two stacks in there it will sm it will organize it into each chest it automatically turns off except for that one oh, I'm turning off it will all go into this chest now it's the same with this at, for the mechanical anvil but the only I, d I believe the only difference with the mechanical anvil is you don't need this top bit I won't show you because it's too long of a video but you won't need this top bit it will just go straight into the middle I believe if not then comment down in the video and I'll redo this whole tutorial of the uh, how to make an automatic smelter this is just a little quick video just to show you how to get ultra balls so once you get the cooked apricorns you know all the rest you turn them into the lids you put the lids in a mechanical anvil to make him like that and all the automatic smelter one automatic mechanical anvil so then the next job is to have this the ultra ball lids and the disc so once you get the iron base you need a button which is from stone and an ultra ball lid so you put the ultra ball lid in here the button in the middle and the iron base here and that will craft an ultra ball like that that will craft the ultra ball and that's e the best way to get ultra balls and the best way to get money on poker resort mainly I don't know if any other servers will have the same plugin and same uh, money for the selling and all that crap but for poker resort this is the best way and many people grind out apricorns this way because again 2500 per stack imagine getting a whole double chest full that's like over 100k in like less than two days so it's just like I said just a quick tutorial on how to get how to build this again if you're confused on how to do the mechanical anvil side I will do another video just based on the smelters and yeah that is it so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, it's only a quick one, only a tutorial, and yeah, uh, don't forget to li uh, ugh. don't forget to leave a like or and subscribe and share this channel with your friends and there will be a link in the description of Poker Resort IP and their Discord and other people's channels because I'm pretty sure there's going to be new YouTube channels and also there's going to be a bit of an update on as Sunset's just released, I'm able to do videos and I've got this I've got a plan I'm thinking of doing pokey res resort challenges and I'll give more information on another video but just a little hint okay and a little teaser so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later peace